Hello, in this video, let's use Google Sheets to solve this problem. So first, let me show you the problem. Here we've got a table for a monopolist, and we're going to fill in the missing data. We're going to use Google Sheets to do that. We've been given quantity of output, a price. Notice this is a firm with some monopoly power because as they lower the price, they sell more. We need total revenue, marginal revenue, total cost, marginal cost, and profit. Before we head over there, let me give you all of the formulas here. So total revenue is price times quantity. Marginal revenue is the change in total revenue divided by the change in quantity. Total cost, well, this is already calculated for us, but in case you run into this in the short run, it's variable cost plus fixed cost. Marginal cost is the change in total cost divided by the change in quantity. Now in this problem, the change in quantity is one. So it's really just gonna be whatever the change in total cost is. So you don't really need the spreadsheet to figure that out, but we'll, we'll use it anyway. Um, profit in this case is gonna be total revenue minus total cost. Okay, so let's grab Google Sheets and use the spreadsheet here so I'm just gonna do Q for quantity price total revenue marginal revenue total cost Oops, do I need marginal cost and profit and down here I'm gonna go one two three and actually once you kind of get it going it should you, know, you can see in the lower right uh, it took it down a little bit there. Oh, I did need to go one more. Oh, it's not smart enough to do that. Oh, well. Uh, okay, 20, 18.5, 17, 17.5, 14, 12.5, 11, and 9.5. Okay. Uh, and then I need total cost. Total cost 16, 20, 25, 33, 42, 53, 68. And 88. Okay, I now have enough information. Let's just look and see what we're what we're looking for here. At what quantity should the monopolist produce? So that's going to be our profit maximizing condition. We want to produce up to our marginal cost equals marginal revenue. And then since this is a monopoly, I'm going to mark that up to the price that corresponds with that quantity. And then what will the profit be? Just find that quantity, and it's going to be the difference between total revenue and total cost. Okay, so let's entirely use this spreadsheet here okay and just for just to make it look a little nicer there we go okay uh, all right so total revenue is price times quantity so I just put in a, a function if you don't know how to do that put, put equal sign and then click on the price there and then we're gonna mult the multiplication sign is that little star there uh, or asterisk we're gonna multiply that by the quantity hit enter and then all you have to do you can do a couple of things. You can highlight everything there and hold down Control D on your keyboard and it'll copy that formula for you. Or you can take that formula and you see where the little cross is? You can just double click it right there. It does the same thing on, on Excel there. Okay. Now actually this might help you if you're wondering what um, there's a zero here and there's a well, price would be 20 I guess could be more than 20, it's probably more than 20, it's probably 21.5 because that's what the linear function seems to be going. Um, this of course would be zero because it's that times that, so that doesn't really matter. Okay, so marginal revenue is gonna be the difference between here and here. So I wanna write a, a function where I put it in parentheses. So this minus the previous and then close parentheses and then I wanna divide it by another parentheses, this minus this. In this one, you don't actually have to do that second step because they're always changing by one, but you might run into one that uh, is a different number, set of numbers there. And you just hit enter and it's gonna say, hey, autofill, I see you already did that, so sure. Um, and you can just kind of check it if you want. So 20 to 37 is 17, 37 to 51 is 14, and I've got my marginal revenue there, okay? Marginal cost, I'm gonna do the same thing, so I'm gonna go, um, well, I guess I don't know what the, I don't know what that cost is, so we're going to have to start here. So we'll go here, 
minus here, I'll put that in parentheses, and divided by this minus this. Also put that in parentheses. And sure, I'll go. Now I've got marginal costs. And then for profit, I just want to make a function here. I can, yeah, I can do this one. It's it's, to, it's total revenue minus total cost. Okay, and that first one is four. Copy that formula all the way down. I don't know why that's not working. There. And is that right? Yes, we start to lose money on the eighth unit. Okay, so now we can answer our questions. So we want to find where uh, marginal cost and um, marginal marginal revenue equal. Um, so the first one, or the second unit rather, is marginal revenue of 17, marginal cost of four. Um, if it helps you, if this is in your way, you could, you could like click on this and actually hide it. Um, then it'll get it out of your way, but uh, I don't know where that, that button is. But anyhow, uh, 17 over is more than four, 14 is more than 15, 11 is more than eight. Uh, and then if I do this one, my marginal revenue is below my marginal cost. So I don't want to do that. One. I want to do I want to do this quantity. So I'll make that yellow. That's the the one that I'm looking for. Make it yellow right there. Okay. So this is the best I can do, and it also works because that's the highest profit. Okay. So profit at profit maximization is 29. Uh, the fourth unit, because if you produce the next one, its uh, marginal costs are higher than our marginal revenue. And the price we're going to charge is fifteen fifty. Follow that over there, and that's how you answer that question with Google Sheets.